Hey guys, it's Bowsy Bowsy, and today we are doing a tutorial on this Egyptian dog statue. Thought this one would go well with the cat one. I really did try to make it smaller, but it was very hard, so it is a little bit bigger than a chunk, but not by much. So this one's just a really fun one. Very simple, easy to make. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need 135 gold blocks. 86 polished black stone, 53 polished black stone stairs, 15 filler blocks, and 8 polished black stone slabs. So the base of our dog here in these gold blocks is an 18 by 7 with the corners removed. So that makes the length 16 and 5 here in the middle. 16 uh, tall and then 5 wide like this. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing, because we're using a lot of stairs and slabs of the polished black stone, it can get a little confusing. I'm just going to put those in deep slate, but you put them in polished black stone, okay? Just so that you can see a little bit better what we're doing. Okay, so to get started right here on the second and the fourth blocks, back one, we're going to place two stairs like this. We're going to place three polished black stone behind those, one, two, three. And then we're going to place a stair facing in to each of those like that. We're going to take a stair right here in between the last polished black stone. We're going to place that there. Behind that stair, you're going to pull that out by five. One, two, three, four, and five. You're going to take your filler and you're going to go one, two, three like this. Polished black stone, one, two, three. Your filler, one, two, three, and bring that down one more time and polish black stone one more time like this okay moving back over here where we placed these stairs you're going to place another um, stair facing into to it to create like this little shape like this so let's do that on this other side as well okay like that behind each of those stairs we just placed a polished black stone like this and we're going to do that again we're going to place a stair here and a stair there again same thing a stair here and a stair there to create our little shape up against these last stairs right here you're going to place regular stairs facing towards the back so this is the front our front paws our stairs are there and we're just going to bring our polished black stone all the way back to connect with those three we placed in the back there so bring that back one, two, three, four, and five, like this. So here we are at the very back. We're going to take our stairs and place a stair here and a stair here, a full block in between them. We're going to come out by one and we're going to go over by two. We're going to come up one, two, connect here. We're going to go over one like this and up one right there. And then turn around, face the back, and we're going to put an upside down stair right here and this is the tail of the dog it'll make sense once we finish putting the legs in so let's go ahead and move back over towards the front we're going to start our next level you're going to take your polished blackstone right here where we placed our stairs we're going to place a stair here and a stair behind it our first stair one stair on top one stair behind it go ahead and place a polished blackstone in between those take your filler block and we're going to come across one two three four five six seven eight go ahead and fill in on top of those previous ones that we placed i think some of these are going to get replaced by blackstone so just fyi go ahead and bring your polished blackstone all the way back here in that little groove that we've made up against these two filler blocks two polished blackstone same thing on the other side and now we are facing the back from the front, right? And we're going to place two upside down stairs like this on either side of those blackstone. On the other side, so we're at the back facing the front, we're going to place two stairs like this. We're going to place three blackstone here and a stair right there with a, this is again, remember that this is supposed to be in blackstone, a polished blackstone right here. And let's just finish off our tail here. Up on top of this stair, we're going to place a stair there and come around and a stair here. Now let's move back over to the front. 
on these um, previously placed black stone, we're going to place stairs on top of it. A polished black stone behind each of those. Go ahead and connect it in the middle. Two gold behind each of those. So two gold there. Polished black stone in between those. We're going to come over to the back. We're going to take our stairs. A stair here and then stairs facing. You can't place it. Stairs facing into it to create this little square block like this on top. Right here, these two blocks right there, we're going to go ahead and replace with polished blackstone. A polished blackstone slab right here, and we're facing the back now. We have one stair there with two stairs facing into it like this. Three polished blackstone behind that. We're going to have a polished blackstone right here, and a polished blackstone right here. A stair facing into it and a stair facing into it. Come over to the back right here in this little corner. A stair here and a stair there. In the back here we're going to place a stair right here in the middle. We have our little corner stairs facing into that block. And then finishing a little bit more of the tail here we're going to place a stair here and a stair into that to create this shape right here for the tail. And in so far we have completed the bottom of the dog's body. Now it's just bringing the head, the neck and the head up. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is come back and replace all of the deep slate with um, black stone so that you can see what it's supposed to be looking like. Okay, so we are here, here we have the bulk of the dog's body. We're going to go ahead and continue on to the chest and head and neck. And so to continue that, right here we have these stairs. We're going to place three gold up and behind it like this. One gold here and one gold there to create a little U shape. A black stone in the middle. Come over to the back here. And we're going to place a stair here like this. And then stairs facing into that to create our little square shape. Coming up, we're going to place one, two, three black stone right here like this. An upside down stair there, we're facing the front. An upside down stair there. In the back, we're placing one more polished black stone right here. On top of that stair, a polished black stone like this. Go ahead and bring it out by one. Place an upside down stair here, and then a slab coming out of that top part. Up against this. Uh, black stone that we've placed, a stair here, a stair next to it. Same thing on the other side, a stair here and a stair next to it. You can remove this polished black stone here and those two can be filler blocks there with a stair on top of that black stone that we've placed previously. So coming back over to the front, a slab on top of the slab, a stair on top of the stair and a polished blackstone on top of the previous polished blackstone. A stair here with a polished blackstone next to it, same thing. Stair and polished blackstone like this. In the back, we can come in and fill with polished blackstone right there. We're going to take our slabs and one on top of that last one and one in front of it like that. On top of this last polished blackstone, a gold block here a gold block on the other side. Go ahead and bring those up by one. Let's look at the doggy from the front because we have two stairs to place like this and you are done. So there is your completed Egyptian dog statue, which are also known as the Pharaoh Hound and they are one of the oldest domesticated dogs in recorded history. So fun little fact about the Pharaoh Hound. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I will see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye bye.